Peak Heat. Is that you? I gotta keep winning. I gotta keep winning. Gotta keep winning. 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 Gotta keep winning. Gotta keep winning. YouTube, what's going on, man? Five days out, man. Day one of what they call a peak week. Is this a peak week for me? Probably so. I guess we can call it that since that's the norm, right? Let's just keep it regular, keep it for you guys to understand. So with the peak week, you pretty much are peaking to your ultimate physique, okay? You want the best physique to bring to the stage, man. So in five days, you should be bringing your best. So let me run you down what we're doing today. We are going to do about no more than 20 grams of carbs a day, right? So all the way low, super low, really getting all the carbs out of us, uh, really depleting. That's what they call it. They call it depleting. So really, really depleting. It's not necessary. Only do it if you think your body needs it. I personally think my body needs it because I'm... As you guys know, if you watch all my previous videos, I'm holding on to a little extra fat that I would like to get off, which I would have got off. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and deplete, bring it all down. Uh, protein, about 270, skyrocket. It's all the way up there, man. Uh, that's where my energy is going to come from, you know, my protein. And also, we got the fats. The fats are going no more than 45 to 50. So uh, keeping them real constant. Trying to keep them as low as I can, but that's pretty much the lowest I'm going to take it right there. So. I've been doing that for a while anyway, so that's pretty much how we're going to run today. All right, water, two liter, uh, two gallons, of course, uh, extra if we want. Uh, it's, it's not easy getting two gallons down, but if you really strate strategically plan out your water drinking, you can get it done. Uh, normally, like today, I will most likely be done with a gallon by the time I start working out, you know, and that's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So one gallon down and then I can just push with the rest. And sodium, we're keeping sodium at a constant level as it's been doing through the whole prep, but we're also salting all our food and just spiking it up just a little bit more. So getting a little extra sodium in. I'm not sure yet, but I might also get some more food choices just to give some more sodium because now my food choices have changed. All tilapia this week, guys. Strictly tilapia. Uh, and the reason for that, tilapia is low in calories, as you might know. Uh, it's real low in fat, good source of protein. The only issue that a lot of fitness people have with tilapia is the omega-3 and omega-6 uh, ratio that they have. So your tilapia will contain way more omega-6, which is like your CLA, which is good for the fat, uh, the fat loss aspect. And it will have less omega-3s, which is good for, you know, health, physical, mental, and all that kind of thing like that. So you want to keep that ratio fairly to like a one-to-one, -one, which that's not what sloppy is. But that's where the fish oils play a part in. So we, you know we have the fish oil capsules. If you take the fish oil capsules, capsules that will serve as your omega-3 portion. So with all my meals, actually just probably three meals, I'm going to be taking my fish oils. I usually only take fish oil once a day, at the end of the night, but now I'm gonna take two more servings uh, throughout the day. So we're gonna boost up our omega threes, keep our uh, omega sixes uh, constant with the tilapia, and that should bring us good, man. What those omegas are for are pretty much, it's all gonna play a part in the fat gain, the fat loss, the fat burn, and, and all of that. So this all deals with fat because we're talking about fish here. Fish is also very thin. It helps thin out the skin. So that's what we're doing, man. That's what the day is consisted of. I just finished up my cardio, 60 minutes on the uh, treadmill, low and steady. Um, low interval steady state, this. And that's it, man. So I'm about to head to the house right now. Um, Finish whipping up the meals. Uh, of course, I'm meal prepping. Uh, throw, oh, also the eggs. I forgot to tell you about the eggs. So I'm doing the egg whites as well. I'm doing 100 grams of egg whites per meal. Okay, so we got 100 grams of egg whites per meal. And that's pretty much gonna be every single meal, man. 100 grams of broccoli, 100 grams of egg whites, 
and 5.5 ounces of tilapia in every single meal for the day, five meals a day. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna throw in two tablespoons of natural peanut butter. Tastes so good, love it, like to finish off the night with it. So that's pretty much what we're working with. And uh, that's gonna conclude all of the meals for the day, man. Of course, I'll probably still take you guys around today, uh, talk to you guys a little bit. Uh, after, you probably already saw the physique, the morning physique. You saw that already. Uh, I'm feeling good, man. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's day five, right? We're going day five, four, three, two, one. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pretty decent, man. I think, I think we can do this, guys. I think we can bring a uh, real good package to the stage. I'm feeling really positive, and that's just the kind of mindset you gotta keep, man. You gotta stay positive. Keep the positivity around you because that's the only way you're gonna really succeed, man. So that's the focus today. Stay positive. Uh, we're gonna keep motiv stay motivated. We're gonna keep pushing, man. Because you also can't bring in that negative energy to your workplace, okay? They don't care about your contest. They don't care that you're dieting down, eating tilapia every day. So what you gotta do, you gotta put your poker face on, you know? Act normal. That's what it's all about, acting normal, man. So let's go ahead and get this day started, man. All right, YouTube, check out this posing right here. First depletion workout complete. It was a leg day. No, I did not record it. Uh, I was mainly just focused on the reps, man, and just trying to really get it done. Um, I wish, I told you guys this before, I wish I had a camera, man, you know. I like the videos on YouTube that I see, when, you know, the guys are getting recorded and just with some good quality videos. It's just, I mean, it's nice, man. I wish I had that, but I do not have that. <laughs> so, you get what you get from this channel, and it is what it is for right now, but... We'll work on that soon, but yeah, first depletion workout complete. Uh, it did take a lot out of me only because, I mean, I'm on no, I'm on pretty much zero to no carb. I've been that way since Saturday. Well, Saturday I had about, I think 70, and then yesterday I had about really low, and then today's gonna be really low. So, running off of no carb. Uh, I did boost my heart rate up, uh, pre-workout in the sauna. Got a 30 minute session in did a lot of posing inside of that 30 minute session because what I'm doing here from here on now is mainly focused on flexing squeezing and holding holding that pose I didn't realize how tough that was until today because today is my first day actually focused on holding it because I forgot all about the the fact that I'll be on stage amongst other guys and the judges will be eyeing us up and making us hold those poses. Now, men's physique poses aren't super hard to hold, but I mean, if you wanna get a good a good outcome, you gotta flex, man. You gotta flex the abs as hard as you can. Focus on blowing out and staying blowed out. Uh, breathing at the same time, cause you will pass out. Oh man, it's tough. So that's what I'm focused on from here on out. No more ab workouts, uh, ab exercises. I'm done working out the abs. I'm not going to build any new abs, and I'm not going to grow any abs, uh, you know, get them more defined in a week, okay, a couple of days. I did all the work I could for the abs, and now we are here. So now it's more so just removing that last bit of fat and hoping that comes off. So what I did incorporate today, and I will be incorporating for the rest of the week, is some hit cardio, post-workout, 15 minutes, really getting it in, really getting that burn, man, trying to burn those last bit of calories. And I think that's gonna be beneficial. So we'll see how that plays out. But yeah, so hit cardio, post-workout, uh, sauna, pre-workout, and then of course our quick depleted workout in which we will do each body part and just rotate from exercise to exercise in like a circuit. So today was quads, hamstrings, and calves. I threw a little hips in there as well, but those are pretty much the main three right there. So that was the focus. And I mean, I'm feeling pretty good, guys. I have more energy today than I had that I than I had have. Wait, hold on. I have more energy today than I've than I've have had throughout this prep. I can't get it right, man. Carbs, man, low carbs. But yeah, uh, the energy level is pretty decent today. I hope it doesn't drop. I hope I remain. Uh, with this energy. I'm also fasted right now, which is super crazy because I'm not super hungry, but I do want to eat, you know, and I'm about to get in here and eat this tilapia, but 
Uh, the only thing I've had today was coffee, water, BCAAs, and some coconut oil, which I always break my fast. So I, I said I was fasted, but technically I broke my fast with the coconut oil at around 11.30, which was pre-workout. And that's just to help, uh, of course, with that belly fat, so the doctors say, you know, the coconut oil. So I took about 10 milliliters of that. And then, of course, that leucine that's inside the BCAAs, of course, that's going to spike your insulin levels, which breaks you out of your fast. So technically, I'm not fasted, but I haven't had any whole foods. So I'm about to get in there and get some whole foods now. Uh, it is now 1.50, and I haven't eaten since, since like 9 o'clock, 9.30 last night. So we got to go grow up, man. We got, we got some meals to get down, uh, five meals a day. I'm excited for them because I'm hungry, I guess, now. So... But I'm really excited to eat this tilapia. You guys know I love tilapia. I can't express how I feel about tilapia. I throw the hot sauce on it. Oh man, that's super good. But anyways, yeah, man. And I'm, I'm just still continuing to do research, uh, peak week research, how to bring your best. And you take it, you take it with a grain of salt, man. You gotta, you gotta take what knowledge you want, and you gotta apply whatever you want. You know, you don't can't take it all in because some people will say this and then some people say that and it'll be going against each other but it's like you choose what you want to believe and you do what's best for you so i'm still doing research to this day five days out feeling super good i'm ready for the show man i think i'm just super ready for it to be over <laughs> believe it or not man i'm done i'm ready for this thing to be over man give me some good food on saturday i can't wait hooters baby we coming Hooters, and I'm also gonna throw in some pizza that night, so we'll have a good time. But anyways, let me get here and eat, and I'll uh, check back with you guys later.